cube, but we want a plane. And use the arrow keys. Okay, I'm going to enter edit mode by hitting tab, and I'm going to hit U and hit unwrap. Come back over here, and the key here for this step is to scale it down and it needs to be mapped directly over the at symbol in the corner here. Not this at symbol, the first one. And the more uh, better you can wrap it around, the better. Because so. if not, it'll cause odd spacing. And this was a, uh, this whole thing is a very roundabout method. I don't really agree with it, but it's how they display text, so that's how I'm going to do it. Now we're going to switch to textured, and you'll notice it's upside down, which is why I didn't switch into object mode already. So you go back. I just wanted to show you that because it always happens for some reason. R180, and then enter, but I did that time. And over here, it looks like the ad symbol is on our plane. So we go back to object mode. And the next step need to be in face select mode and in edit mode again. So you need to have the face selected or this will not work. It won't work if you have all four vertices selected. You have to have the face selected in face select mode here. Then we go down to our editing panel and we go down to uh, multi-res UV calculation texture face. This is where you want to go. I hit the text button. This tells Blender it's text. And you want to hit alpha so that it renders with alpha, because if not, the spacing will show it weird. It won't look good. So now that we have that done, that's our next step. That's that done. Then we can, now we can go to our game logic. And we're going to give it a proper property. Property is named text. That's how it works. And this will show when we go back into object mode. Now you'll see both of it here, but when you go to play the game, yeah, you only see what the property is. This works for any type of property. False. This works for any type of property. What is it? Whatever is in the in here. Page six. Whatever is in the the value of the property, as long as it's named text. Put string in. Now, up to this point, everything I've done has been covered on uh, Blendenzo, I believe, but I'm going to be adding it, adding to it, since now we have the state system. The state system will allow me to uh, expand upon this wee bit. So, uh, yeah, that doesn't look perfect. I don't know how to fix it. Maybe if I went back and fixed the UV mapping, but it'll work fine for now. So we're going to add... Keyboard sensor for enter or return. And, um, we're going to make this do two things. First, we're going to add another property and make that a string as well. Call that hello too. Oh, that'll be the property. I'm going to call this property text2. two actuators here. The first actuator, property. It's going to assign the property text the value of text2. And that assigns it the value of another property. That doesn't give it the value in this box here. If I type hello2 in here, when I go to do this, it will say hello2 not found. So you type in the name of the property whose value you want put into this. And then we're going to set this one, and go to state, copy state 2. So now in state 2, what are we going to do? We're going to add another property, text 3. That's going to be a string as well. That's going to be goodbye. So we hit return in this state. It is going to and it is going to assign the property text 
headed in the relief camp.